Happy Father's Day, everybody, and Tony here with a review of the 2015 Staatsoper für Alle, which was live-streamed from Babelplatz. On the podium was the magnificent Daniel Berenboim, the chorus master was Martin Wright, the violinist was Lisa Batyashvili, alongside the Staatskapelle Berlin and the Staatsopernchor Berlin, and the moderator was Martina Gedet. Now, the live stream began with Ten Häuser, well, specifically the, well, the chorus of the guests from Richard Wagner's Ten Häuser, as sung by the Staatsopernchor Berlin, with Daniel Berenboim on the podium alongside the Staatskapelle Berlin. Now, this was definitely a great way to start the day and to start the program, as it was really uplifting and very thrilling, and it just made us anticipate the day that was about to really flourish, since, well, this is also the Festival of Music, which is done annually every June, so this was definitely a great way to start, and the Staatsopernchor really gave it their all in terms of their singing. There was no weak link whatsoever, and they really really gave it their all in terms of diction, pronunciation, and just pure tone. And everybody did beautifully. Everybody involved in the Staatsopernchor Berlin really gave it their all and really sang their hearts out very well. And it was just a great opener. And then after a small pause, there was Tchaikovsky's Violin Concerto in D minor. And the solo violinist was Lisa Batyashvili, who I've never heard of before. But it was safe to say that she's had a career all throughout Europe as a violinist and probably even an exciting career as well. So it was also a great like combination of a solo work of Madame Batyashvili alongside the Staatskapelle Berlin as they really meshed together very well producing such wonderful sound and especially such accuracy from Lisa Batashvili on the violin. And she really paid attention to all the notes and to all of the, well, the placements of where she has to place her fingers in such a, an exciting and such a thrilling concerto. And she was definitely great at what she's done. When she has to go slowly and gently, she really does that. But every time she has like a fast passage, then she goes all out and in the best possible way. In fact, this is definitely a great mashup of a solo work and a group orchestra really combining their efforts together to produce some of the most beautiful music that Tchaikovsky has produced. And this concert was also in terms of the, or basically a benefit concert as well, for the victims of a flight that had a crash because of natural disasters. So this was definitely a noble effort done, and this was definitely a great effort done for everyone concerned as well. And, well, because she also came from Georgia, and, well, this is also to help raise awareness and also to, well, well, just for everyone to, like, give their support for the victims of that flight that had that crash. So it was definitely a noble effort done. So the... Second to the last piece that was played before that one, after that one pause, was Beethoven's Symphony in C Major. You know the one that goes da 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 dum da 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 dum. Yeah, that's the one, and it was just done very gorgeously, very wonderfully, with all of the members of the Staatskapelle Berlin really giving it their all, and really selling it with such wonderful tones, and then comes the encore number, which is another Beethoven composition, which is the Egmont Overture. 
again, very wonderfully played, and it really capped off for what was such an awesome day of music. So overall, this was definitely, well, an awesome day for music to really hear Daniel Berenboim, Nina, Lisa Batyashvili, um, and all of the members of the Staatskapelle Berlin and the Staatsopernchor Berlin really giving it their all to produce such wonderful tones and especially in terms of like supporting a cause just to also remember of the victims of the tragic plane crash that happened. So it was definitely wonderful and it was a very great effort put in by all of these wonderful artists. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to tune in later where I review the Lita Abend with Renee Papa. So until then, I hope you all have a great Father's Day, everybody.